Question 8. Put a tick in each row to complete this table. One has been done for you. So we've got 0 0.9, 0 0.06, 11 twentieths or 0.21. We've got to choose whether it's greater than a half or less than half. Well, let's just think about a half for a moment. A half is also the same as 0 0.5. And if we want that as a two-digit decimal, that is also the same as 0 0.50. And possibly we can use this to help us. Well, 0 0.9, we can see straight away, is bigger than 0 0.5. So that's why it's greater than a half. 0 0.06. Well, 0 0.06, if I write it just under there like that, is clearly going to be less than 0 0.50. And remember, 0 0.50 is the same as 0 0.5. So 0 0.06 is going to be less. So that one, we need to take less than a half. 11 twentieths. Well, if we're talking about twentieths, a half, one half of 20 would be 10 twentieths. So a half is 10 20ths. And you can see that 11 is greater than 10. So 11 20ths must be greater than 10 20ths. So this one's greater than a half. The final one, 0 0.21, again this is a two digit decimal. So if we go up here to our two digit decimals, 0 0.21, you can see that 0 0.21 is going to be less than 0 0.50. You shouldn't really say it like this, but Sometimes it helps people to think of it as 0.21 being less than 0.50. You could even think of a pound sign. In money, this would be 50 pence, and 6 pence, and 21 pence. So 0.21 is going to be less than 0.50. So this one is less than a half.